Okay, so let's click continue. So let's start. I would like to call PCC Mahesh Chitnis to say a few words. All right, like thank you for reminding me for recording. Yesterday I almost forgot. Uh, anyway, welcome everybody for uh, one of the most important sessions for this uh, refresher. <laughs> Our uh, digital resources have been changing. They have been improving, uh, especially after the LCI forward. Things have been very, very different in last several years. They are still improving. And uh, they, have, they have been giving us so much of uh, resources these days that we can actually make a lot of difference into our clubs. Again, I am very, very impressed by the enthusiasm of our lions from our multiple district joining in. Uh, yesterday, we had close to about 60 people uh, attending the, uh, the presentations. And I'm pretty sure that like we will uh, reach a good number when we actually start. Um, again, now the my, my LCI is not only for the president, secretary, treasurer, but it is for everybody with the new My app. And we have uh, a new presenter to our multiple district, PCC Mike. Uh, and I'm sure that like he will uh, get you involved into uh, the digital resources and it will be a great uh, session. So welcome everybody to multiple district 16 and uh, uh, let's continue. Back to you, Rahul. Thank you, Lion Mahas. And now here is District 16 day Governor-elect Barsha Naik to introduce our presenter for this session. Thank you, DLT-elect Lion Rohel. And uh, at this point, I would like to say thank you, District Governor Kevin Kosoboki for your presence in this training. Thank you so much. Our uh, guest speaker for tonight is PCC Mike Asenberg from the Syracuse Lions Club in the District 28U in Utah. And he will be discussing Lions Digital Resources. As MD28 GLT, he is very involved in the training of Lions and has many position in the organization. He is a past council chair, a progressive Melvin John fellow, MD28 GLT, and is currently his club's incoming president and MT28 LCIF coordinator. He's a graduate of FDI, Ali, and ELLI, Ali. He is a retired Air Force veteran who loves to travel and is married to the first vice district governor, Lion Carol Asenberg from England. I am very pleased to introduce PCC Mike Asenberg. Well, well, thank you. Thank you, Lion Varsha. Well read, and I'll send you the check for that excellent <laughs> performance. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's truly my pleasure to be here tonight. I know you have the beautiful PID, Jenny Ware, but what I lack in uh, being handsome, I make up in being very charismatic. So just go with that, okay? So I see a lot of familiar faces. It's my honor to be here uh, tonight. And thanks for taking time out of your busy schedules. I know you have to juggle things and with the time difference, I'm just glad I was able to, uh, to be here. Many older lions, they say, oh, I'm not tech savvy or I'm not computer illiterate, or I have a flip phone. You just go ahead with this technology and, and I'll catch up. But what we found is our parent organization, Lions Club International, this is the way forward. And if you want you know, the latest information, um, you really gotta, you gotta keep up. So um, I think we all struggle with things that are new and it usually just boils down to uh, plain practice. So I'm here to act as your virtual guide as we sail these uncharted waters together. Is that okay? Do I see a lot of head nods that we're gonna do this together? So don't be afraid, we're gonna get through it. It's funny, I, I recall uh, when Facebook first came out 
And I had to rely on my daughter every five minutes, like, how do I post a comment? How do I upload a photo? How do I accept a friend? And she's like, dad, you don't have to accept every friend that sends you a friend request. I think we can all agree with that. So are we ready to get started? Okay, uh, if you, uh, you wanna share permission, I'll go ahead and uh, bring up my slides. Okay. You do have this share permission. Thank you, sir. Bringing it up now. Okay. Can everybody see the slides? Okay. Let's get started. So this slide about says it all. Help me. Where do I need to go? I've heard of Lions Learning Center. I've heard of lionsclubs.org. You know, help me, where, where's one stop that I can go? So has anybody felt that you just don't know where to go? You'll, you'll, get, you'll, you'll run with the ball once you get it, but it, I think it's just knowing where to go for the resources. So in the past, there wasn't that one place and it required us to remember several different names, login names and passwords and to make matters worse, Every site had its own requirement and some passwords even resembled um, algebraic equations and, and nobody could remember all that. So you, you'll find that this is your one-stop shop is this uh, site I'm gonna show you. As a lion leader, not having all the resources can complicate your lives. Would you agree with that? I, I think it increases our personal and professional stress it gives us less time to spend with our friends and family and, you know, participate in leisure activities with our kids. Um, task and projects, if we don't have the resources at our fingertips, they go late or unfinished. And then if you have to, if you're struggling with your resources, everything becomes very urgent. So you can see that I'm going to remove all this frustration for you because I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. And then that way you can get educated and go back to your clubs and make your clubs stronger and your multiple districts stronger as well. Okay. All right. So we are now on this session objective slide. So the orientation will focus on the latest digital resources by LCI. We'll specifically be looking at the virtual Lion app, which has essentially created, like I said, that easy button. And you'll get all the information you need. And what I'm gonna do is this is your appetizer. I'm giving you just, just the highlights so you can explore at your leisure. So we won't keep you on your computer all night. This is just gonna show you that once you get an account, you'll be like, oh, I remember I remember Mike told me about that, or this is where I need to go to see this. So our objectives tonight are to visit the MyLion app, which LCI developed to see the latest innovations in technology. We're gonna explore the capabilities of these resources. It's not only gonna help you, it's gonna help your members, your officers, and it's gonna make everybody's life easier. And finally, we're going to increase your awareness and knowledge that you're going to be your own club or your district or your multiple district professional on this. I'll gladly give you, I'll give you this training whenever you want it, but by the end of tonight, you're going to be able to run with this information and feel a lot more confident. I'm excited to get started, so let's explore the site together and we'll explore your fear of the unknown. Everybody ready to do that? Okay, let's do it. So prior, when Varsha sent out, Lion Varsha sent out the uh, instructions, it gave you this site on your left or on my left, <laughs> and it's the myapps.lionsclubs.org. So this is where, this is the portal page you'll see when you have, if you have an account. And if you look to your right, I, uh, I made it user-friendly for me with the big giant arrows. So if you don't have an account, this is where you're going to click and it, and you'll see on the right hand side it'll ask if the blocks are self explanatory and the only thing you really need is you need to ask your club secretary what's my LCI membership number because you'll need that to create an account. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so if you have an account number 
this is where you'll log in. It'll say welcome and it'll have your name on the left hand side and you can see on the top right it has my name as well. So that's what you'll be looking at. And there are six blue squares at the top of the portal page and each one is different. You may need to just get on and go specifically to one area and not even explore the other ones until you need to do so. But I, like I said, I'm gonna give you an overview tonight so you can really be comfortable with getting around on the site. So the My Lion, uh, some of you may be familiar with it. This is where you go to report service activities, plan a future activity, view your service metrics in your district, and et cetera. So it's just remember, associate the My Lion with the service that you do. You know, you either want to perform it, you want to view it, you want to report on it. And it's great. And it shows you in all the different service areas you can report, you know, before we used to be branded with just eyesight, you know, Knights of the Blind. Now you can, you can actually do a service project for all the areas that we focus on. The next one, the My LCI. This is where every lion, if they've been a lion one minute or 50 years, they know that My LCI is where you find your membership, your club data, your uh, officer info, and you can change your respective roles. So if we have some folks tonight that are gonna be um, presidents, vice presidents, membership chairs, as your current secretary loads in your position, LCI will give you the appropriate permissions. So you might see something different as you see as a president than you would as the LCIF coordinator or membership, if that makes sense to you. Next, we go on to insights, and we're going to go into these sites, so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The insights is where you get, I, I just associate that with statistical data. Whenever I, I'm hungry for some LCIF data, I go right to insights, and I can view New Jersey, and you guys can view Utah. So it's very user-friendly, and it's drop-down menus, and you just select what you need. Um, Next on to learn. This is where the Lions Learning Center is located for all, all your officer uh, training courses. There is a separate website called Lions Learning Center, but this is where if you have your officers coming in, like last night, we just trained. This is where you're going to go to to receive your training. And there's also self improvement courses. If you say, you know, they'll say, "Oh, I've been a president, Mike." three times over. I don't need to know. I don't need to know this information. Well, I think you do because LCI has put a lot of resources, money, and technology because it's current. So your, your GLTs for your district may be teaching off of a PowerPoint presentation that may have not seen an update since Windows, you know, 97, I guess, as it were. So you'll just want to make sure you send your members uh, to this learning center right here for the most up-to-date information. The shop, this is where you can purchase your Lion swag. I see Varsha's getting a little excited. Yes, we will show you this uh, shop tab in here. And you can get club supplies as well. No longer do you have to phone up LCI and be on the phone forever. You can just get every all your, it's a one-stop uh, shop for all your apparel, club supplies, awards, et cetera. And then lastly, connects. Connect. It's where you can create your online meetings similar to Zoom, GoToMeeting, um, WebEx. It's, uh, it used to be in the beta stage, but I know I tested it out and you can actually create uh, meetings within your club or district and it pulls up all the information that your members, members have like their email and it'll send them invites as well. So that's fantastic. We've never had that capability before. And and then lastly, on this page, you'll see right next to connect, you'll see a, a take, take a tour or take the tour button. That'll, if you can't remember anything I said tonight, remember to select that button and that way it'll take you through every component on the page and then it'll re refresh your memory. So as I mentioned in the past, we had to go to one site for one set of information and, and another couple sites for other stuff, but Right now, LCI has really made things easier for us, as you soon shall see. Okay, we are ready to go. Now, here comes the fun part. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this share and bring up the actual site.
Okay, can uh, everybody see the uh, portal? We are doing fantastic, Lions. Yeah, I didn't take you to my shopping list, so I'm excited about that. We're actually in the portal where you need to be. Okay. So under my lion, you'll, you'll remember I said that's your service. We'll just click on it real quick. Because I want to be here to answer your questions rather than just go through every option. So this is your homepage. You'll see it for your club. I'm... Now that Lion officers can input service, remember before it used to be just on the club secretaries to report. And I think it's hard to partner with, you know, the uh, Bill Gates Foundation or the Jimmy Carter Foundation because everything we do is tied to metrics. And if we don't report our service, then other organizations will think one, we're not active, but I think we all know the cases we're just not reporting our information. So. I'm using this as a training site. Um, I had our secretary load in four service activities that were completed. Let's see if I can show you this. So you can see the activities they've done some 4th of July, putting out flags, eyeglasses, uh, recycling project. That's mainly what our, our uh, traditional projects been for our club. And then as I mentioned, remember you can see the different categories diabetes, environment, childhood cancer, uh, vision, hunger relief. So it just shows you, you know, you can find out. And if I want to see what New Jersey's doing, I just go look in, in this section for your district. Okay, so that's, uh, here's reporting past activities, pretty self-explanatory. You can see, you can add pictures into your projects. This guy regretted doing the eyeglasses because I filled the trunk of his car up <laughs> with more eyeglasses and yeah but we use them for our uh, uh humanitarian service trips so we typically take anywhere between five and seven thousand glasses um, per trip okay so you can plan a future i'll move the pictures of all your beautiful faces so i can see the screen so you can plan a future activity it allows you to put the date and time and once again, it'll send out messages and you can, do multi, you can do clubs in your zone or you can just have a club project. But I found that um, when I inquired, you have to be registered on this website for you to get the notice. So you can notify everybody in your district or multiple, but once you have this training tonight, you need to get the word out. This is the site you need to be on. So that way you don't have to go to your Gmail or your Yahoo accounts. This has all the emails in one central place. And then activities. So on this site, um, if I went, see it on the left, if I went past activities, then you see what my activities are. So the biggest question I got last night when I was training, you know, 20, 30 lions is they said, great, where are all those other tabs, Mike, you showed us? We, we, we don't wanna report service, we need data. We need, um, somebody in my club has asked me what my membership number is. As a district governor, that's going to be your biggest question is everybody always wants to know their membership. So you can see this drop down. They made it pretty easy. Um, so this is the MyLion. This is all service related. Now we're going to go back to the home tab again. So you just click home or you go to whatever tab you want. Okay, so we're back to the portal. Now we'll go into the uh, My LCI. This is where you'll spend the majority of your time, whether you this is your first time as a club officer or you've uh, participated in the Lions Officer Recycling Program, as I like to call it. Um, this is where you'll find under the um, My Lions Clubs, you'll find uh, any info you want on members. And I learned from last night, if I click on a member, you get to see my age. So, so trust me, your inform actually, I don't mind. So if you click members, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing address, uh, birth. Um, and the big one is this. If you ever send your lions to um, Ellie, Alley, or some regional training, they'll say, well, when was I the president? And you say, well, can you tell me that information? But sometimes they forget. So just remember under family member, you click on view history. This will tell you when they joined the Lions organization, but you see this drop down that I'm going to, this is officer history. 
And if you go to some of us that have been been in a, been around for a minute, as I like to say, it'll just be a page of titles. But this is a good resource to find out when they held those positions. Okay. All right. So we'll continue. Club info, if I want to find out when a club, they think I'm really smart. When I was a district governor, I'd go visit the clubs and I'd say, well, hello, Lions. You were chartered, you're seen on the, in front of you. You were chartered in July 19, 1951. You know, and then I tell them how many members they have and how many Melvin Jones people. And they're like, this district governor is amazing. Well, it's because I went here while I'm in the parking lot waiting to go visit their club. So you can be as smart as me or at least pretend to be. So that's where you find this information. And also if you're wanting to go visit, this is actually my club, but if uh, one of you, your incoming district governor wanted to come visit in Utah, she wanted to get away from the hustle and bustle of New Jersey and feel really cold and come to Utah, she would just look me up right here. She'd look up Syracuse Lions Club and it has the address and the time we meet. But like everything, it's only as good as the Lions putting in, the, you know, typing in the information. Okay, and then I'll, I'll show you just quickly. You can find out officers. This will tell me all the officers in my club. Um, I can see statement and dues, um, service activities. So I last night I did a, two nights ago, I did a member induct officer induction and I read off, they were amazed that I knew all the service projects they did. This is where I'm going to find it. But once again, I have to um, reiterate, it really takes lions doing this reporting. This tab right here is you can see members in uh, your district or the multiple, you can go right over here and see when their conventions are. So this is the, like I said, the information that we were all used to, but I think it gives you just a good idea. Just remember, this is where all the administration uh, takes place on the website is under the My LCI. We were just in My Lion, which is service. And now we just finished up um, with my LCI. And the beauty is if I want to go visit, see a club in our district, we're a multiple district, 28 uh, U in the North and T in the South, this you can find the club uh, members, or sorry, club LCI number or the members themselves. Sometimes most of the calls I get are, Mike, tell me where uh, this person is in this club. And I really don't know them personally, but this is the resource I go to. And you can see how simple it is. And then if you have any questions, you always hit that support, support button and LCI will get back with you within a day or so. Okay, and then if you wanna get back, this was last night, somebody, somebody, I let them drive, as I say, through this website. And they're like, okay, Mike, how do I get back to the portal? And uh, right here. And the, the bit, the A's, it's not your report card. It's how big you need the screen when you're looking at the screen. So that's just a little tip. And then if languages, you can switch your languages as well. Okay, let's go back to the portal. I think we're doing good on time. So that was my LCI. We'll do insights next. Are you having fun so far? Hopefully you're learning something you didn't know 26 minutes ago, hopefully. This one, I, I could spend hours, but I won't. This was great to know. The summary, it tells our organization what our total membership is, how many clubs we have, donations, activities. So this is what they use when they partner with other organizations, the metrics right here. I was able to uh, find out membership. It's, it, just remember that in this tab, this is all your stats or your statistical data. And then when I wanted to find out, you know, New Jersey, there's a uh, drop downs here. So you can select it by club, district, multiple district. It's really a fun page to learn and to learn things on. And then when I wanted to learn about other programs, they'll pop up. Here we go. I know some of you are just loving this chart. They're like, I love data. I can't get enough data. So this is where you'll get it. You can find it by country, a constitutional area. Um, if you want to see how overseas is doing or you want to see how Canada is doing, you can see it's all very user friendly. You just click on the plus, it drops down to a sub menu. And then you can see it by serve. If you do Lion's Quest, if you want to see um, the, the measles 
program. It, you, you just name it. It'll show you even by program. That's how in-depth the metrics go. And uh, district go goals as well. It'll show you that. Okay. Back to home. So we've covered the MyLion. That's your service. The MyLCI. It's all the membership and administrative. Insights is your statistical information. Learn. This is the one I used just last night. All right. So LCI, if you want to know when uh, the next Lions Certified Instructor Program, it's right there. It has the dates. You don't have to search all over Facebook and say, I remember seeing that post six months ago. No longer do you have to search. You go right here and it'll show you when that uh, institute is. The biggest one, I think a lot of people are on tonight because they're a club officer and probably because... One, they missed a club meeting, so they got voluntold to become an officer. Well, I'm going to help you out. You're actually going to see what, where you go to get the training, which will help you out. And this is under the Lions Learning Center. So when you first brought up that tab right there, I like, I'll show you where the training is. But if you wanted to see local training or manage training, like I created a training last night, I just went into manage training. And once again, it'll shoot out emails to whoever you want to invite. You could even do a zone, a social call, you know, they're under the drop down. It says meeting or training event. And so you could create all these events and, and be able to select an entire club or select it just by members. Okay, so we're going to show you where the training's at, that we will have time to do some of the other fun stuff as well. Okay, so this is the Lions Learning Center. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. Okay, so when you get here, this will show you if you've started training, you can see, I've never been a club secretary, but I wanted to know just out of interest, what's their reporting requirement? So you can see I've started it. Um, I promise I will finish this training, but so it shows you right on your page, which ones are in progress, overdue, not started or completed. So you can see I completed the club uh, president. So when you come here as a new officer and achievements is, you know, all the courses you've knocked out as well. So we go to content library and this is the fun part. So right here, this is, you'll have to remember to scroll um, on the first one, the club president. They're very interactive, self-paced. If Varsha, ha Varsha has to stop her training to go shopping, she can stop her training. And she, <laughs> Varsha, I say it with love, you know. And, and so it'll keep track of where your training is. So you can come back. We all have busy lives. You're running the kids around or you're working late. You can come back and, and you know, pick up where you left off on the training. 593 lions have rated it. And what I love about this website is if I took the president's learning path and I said, I think you're missing a, a, a responsibility or something, that, a duty that they do. LCI is very responsive on taking your, your feedback. And then you'll see the courses get updated. So everyone I've seen so far has typically been five stars or four and a half. And being an Air Force guy, the training that we received in the Air Force, LCI is, is on par with some of the best training in the world. So you'll see president, but just remember, you may see one or more courses that are tied to your club officer position. So you see there's president, secretary, treasurer, council chair. That's new. I wish I, you know, when I, I wish I would have seen that. Um, this is a good one. I, I want to pay special note to this one. If you have a new member, do you ever get a new member and you say, maybe you give them a fact sheet. You say, here's your district number. Here's your membership number. Here's what the lion's motto is. And we shake their hand and we say, see you at the next meeting. And that's the only indoctrination or orientation we give them. I recommend this club officer training. It tells not only incoming officers, but our new, our you know, newest member, it tells you what are the responsibilities for all of the officers. So remember that one. Club officer training is the responsibilities of all club officers. And then you can see there's another club president responsibility. So 
Sometimes you think, oh, I'm the president. I took the course. Just scroll through to make sure there's not um, multiple courses, you know, for the president, secretary, et cetera. I like this because I was talking to uh, Mahesh and we, we were joking that when the when you become a district governor or you're in, I call it succession for the throne, <laughs> you know, when you're when you're climbing the leadership, they send you to all these self-improvement courses. But you'll see um, now there is that site still, the Lions Learning Center, but I see they they've incorporated it into this uh, this website right here, like self-improvement. You know, I needed to, you know, beef up, as they say, on conflict resolution because I had lions that wanted to sit in the same chair that they've been sitting in for 10 years. And I was the brand new president. And who was I to make them move to a different seat across the room? So I reviewed this, you know, they're, they're very quick and easy. They're interactive and they're very modern. It's, and they'll have progress quizzes that, you know, you don't have to score 100. You'll find out if you miss the answer, you just, they tell you what the answer is and you go on. So you can see as I, I'm scrolling through, there's quite a lot of self-improvement, decision-making, delegation, effective. I call effective listening married 101. If you've been married for a minute, I think this is a required for husbands right here, effective listening. And then even expense claims when you become you know, if you're a multiple district coordinator for a program, maybe you do expense forms. Well, now it's right here. So it's really great. It's all at your fingertips. So that was just an idea, even an LCI. I'm the coordinator. So I, this is my next one I'm, I'm going to take. But they're always adding courses. And you'll, I'll tell you about another website that you'll see similar courses that we're going to go visit. But just know that they're here as well. Okay, and if you are if you are in a certain position, LCI will tell you what courses are required. You know, if you're going to, for for instance, I use district governor. Um, there's so many courses you have to knock out before you go to the convention. Um, they do that one to make sure you meet all the requirements, and two, they want to give you the opportunity to make sure you have all these courses. Okay. And I think this was the glitch we're going to, I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to tell LCI. Because when I went, you think when you go home, it takes you back to the, uh, to Lions, uh, to the portal, but it doesn't. So here, I'll take this. And even you'll find, even when you go hit the back, back button, it'll just keep you in the same portal path. So that's your first lesson tonight is this is something they need to put the drop down so we can all get back. So if they hit home, it doesn't actually take you to the home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop share and I'm going to bring back the website again. Because we are adaptable as lions. Okay, there we go. Give me one second, I'll bring up the, the site again. We're almost there, okay, we're back in the portal. All right, and we'll share again, we'll be right there. I don't panic anymore, we'll get there in the end. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a race. So we'll do share screen again. Okay. We just got to find it. <laughs> okay, that's our slides. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to bring it back up here. So you're still seeing our video, correct? If I can have one person tell me that, that way we'll, okay, share screen and here we go. Okay, here we go. We did it. Okay, we're back in the portal. So that was the learn. I'll have one line, one line tell me what was 
<laughs> well, not my lion, your lion. Somebody tell me, unmute one person at random and, and have them tell me what's in the my lion tab. It can be anybody. I'll let Rogel, would you like to take a take a guess? Services. The my perfect. You get a star, my friend. I was Thank gonna you. I was gonna match LCIF dollars, but I'm not gonna do that because New Jersey Lions are too smart. How about somebody tell me what was in the my LCI? Anybody, any volunteers? Feel free to shout it out. Don't be bashful. You're from New Jersey. Varsha, you tell me what's in the my LCI? Administration. Administration, data, membership. Perfect. Insights. Anybody? Do we have uh, PCC Mahesh? Oh, there we go. Uh, anybody? Statistics. <laughs> Statistics, data, all things data. Very good. You have been paying attention, and I will remember that. Okay, learn. That was just where we were at. That's our club. Anything club officer related? Okay, this is the fun one. I'm going to take you to shop. This is where you get all your swag. And I used swag last night and I had a lion who is a charter member from 1951 says, Mike, what is this swag? And I said, it stands for stuff we all get. So now you know, that's what swag is. And you can buy your apparel, you can buy your club supplies right here. If you need kits, piece poster, it's all right here under the shop icon. This is the programs. If you want to, uh, I know we had a club ask me about new voices and I came right here and I printed it. You know, I requested a package for them. Global causes. I wanted to... Um, for diabetes, I couldn't teach Zumba like some really talented lions. So I had to come to this website and find out what my resources were. So this is where I went to and it gives you information. It even gives you potential projects you can do. That's your under global causes and then accessories if you want, you know, more apparel. All right. Okay, and then connects. So I'll just show you this before we go to some of the other websites. And if we want, when we open up to questions, I'm more than welcome to go back. I know last night we they, they got so excited. They wanted me to click on every button. And I said, I really got to go to bed. This training's going late, but this is a good, it's showing you just what's available. This is where I talked about under connect. If you wanted to do a meeting, you could set up a meeting or you can, you know, project it down the road. And the great thing is you see, there's a tutorial. It's really easy. If I can do it, any of my friends in New Jersey can, can operate this website. It's really simple. And once, once uh, or like I mentioned, you can see, you can use the drop down. The only one I found that didn't have that was in the My, in the my Learn. I, have, I totally had to get completely out of it. Okay, I'm going to bring up my slides again. Okay, so I've taken you through just what they were. Everybody, can I get a head nod if you can see the slides? Yep, we're back to the slides. So I navigated those for you. Insights, the learn, the shop the connect. So another, this is another digital resource for, for you. And I know some of the lions in our district, well, I could probably count on one hand, uh, the number of people that have visited this website, but it's a virtual resource that's becoming uh, more and more popular. As I went to the USA Canada forum, I believe the room was full. And what I learned that lions like to do more than cooking pan pancakes or flipping hamburgers is competing with each other. We're so competitive, but that's in a good way. And that's where this uh, Lions University comes in. It, it helps you learn more about lionism. And it, it just, uh, it offers so much leadership development. I know I showed you the my learn portion and a lot of the courses are very similar. 
you know, it's a lot of self-improvement, the delegating, the um, communicating. But if you want credit for a Lions degree, uh, these are the courses. And let's see, you can see I posted the pins. You can earn your Lions University bachelor's degree, your master's or your doctorate. So the bachelor's, it allows Lions to develop the skills uh, necessary uh, to lead their club. So I recommended to the presidents, it was just an initiative we started in Utah. I go, have you heard of this Lions University? And of course I got the, I call it the Utah salute when they go like this with their shoulders, like, I don't know what you're talking about, Mike, that's the Utah salute. And so I got them involved in this and I made it like a friendly competition between district governors. And so now we're in this race you know, I'm, I'm trying to finish up a doctorate, but as you take them, they, the, you know, the requirements become a little harder and it's just more involved, but it's just fun. And there, you can take them in any order. And there's a requirement that you attend a USA Canada forum for, you know, for each level that you're going for. So the master's uh, focuses on giving support to your clubs through district leaders. And it's aimed at that district, um, leader level, like your DGs, your district, sorry, I'm going to, I'll stay away from the acronyms because we got them in every organization that we've been to, your district governors, your vice district governors, uh, your zone chairs, your committee chairs, certifying uh, guiding lines. That's for, typically it's intended, but any lion member can take any one of these. And then lastly, the doctorate program. I noticed a lot of lions like to stop at the masters because they say, wow, that's that's a lot of work I got to do. Well, anything worthwhile, Lions, it takes, takes some effort, correct? So the doctorate program focuses on skills uh, needed to be a training facilitator for adult, lear adult learners. And that's, that's why I did FDI. I love, I love learning myself, and I love to see the excitement of other Lions learning about our organization. So that's what the doctorate program is, is intending to really push lion leaders to uh, be out front and getting their people motivated and getting them trained. And they become the trainer of other lions. Well, we are going, we're going a lot quicker, but that's fine. I, this is good. I know you'll have some questions. Okay, so this one, this is a great resource and it's easily accept, uh, accessible um, in different ways. A lot of us whether you're a millennial or not, love to be on their smartphones. And, you know, I love being on my smartphone, but I, I think it makes you need glasses a lot sooner than if you just watch on your iPad or your laptop or your computer. So it's acceptable. Yep, it's acceptable on our iPhones or you can type in on your uh, browser, um, on your search engine, and then go to your, um, your browser and type in lionsvirtual.org. Or on Facebook, I just type in Lions Virtual in the search block. Or I think, did I put the picture on here? Do you see a little green T on there anywhere on the slide? Some people say, Mike, what is the green T? And I learned that from uh, Lion Daniel Marnie Elkins because I believe he was on the committee that set set up a brand new app before this one came into being. And um, you go to that. Uh, it's called Team App on your smartphone, and I'll send you these slides. So if you're interested in, you know, seeing all these other sites, but once you download the Team App on your smartphone, and that smartphone came after the flip phone, just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> so what you'll do is you'll type in Lions Virtual, and that's a whole, a whole nother arena of really fun stuff that's on there. Uh, you'll find Lions trivia. You'll find inspirational videos that I use to share in my own club. When I want to mo motivate Lions, especially they're energetic when they first took their position, you know, so you don't, it's like membership. If you don't do the care and feeding, you know, what do our members do? They leave. Same as the officers. If they have a terrible experience, you'll never have them again as an officer. So you want to, you want to show them all these different sites. So I, I, get, I get great inspirational videos, popular social events like the Burmeister virtual bar, which I think a lot of us participate during COVID. We had, we had nothing else to do while we're in our pajamas. So we joined the virtual bar on a Saturday evening. Um, there's also fundraising events you'll find. 
and, uh, and training videos as well. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend. This is just another virtual, you know, a digital resource that's available. Okay. So hopefully the virtual tour that I've showed you, because I want to I wanna see what questions you have. And if you want to go back to the websites, um, I joked that this was going to be a three-hour presentation, but I realized you want the excitement is when you get on and you play around where things are at. So it was a little quicker, but I also want to hear what questions, and I want to hear how you do things in New Jersey so I can learn as a lion as well. But uh, hopefully it met your personal expectations, and, uh, and we've met our lesson objectives. It was I wanted to show the lions in New Jersey digital resources that we most lions in our in our districts or even clubs they don't know about just because and it's it's strange because lci puts a lot of time and effort and money into this um but it th this is out there and it's right at your fingertips hopefully it answers your questions you, i showed you where the training reporting uh, statistics even where there's videos that you can you know meet your entertainment needs but ultimately, I hope it enhanced um, your awareness and, and understanding so you can confidently go back to your New Jersey Lions clubs and, you know, share it with them or use it as a club program. I think the first thing I'm going to do is show them digital resources when I take over as president, right? Because this is great. I wish I had this a couple of years ago even. So this isn't a one and done, as I like to say. You have my email now. I am dedicated to the Lions of New Jersey. I'm not just the GLT here, but if you want me to do a presentation for your club or, hey, Mike, can you do a refresher for me? Sure. Uh, I, you got my contact info there. So I'll stop sharing this and let's, I'll stop sharing the slides. And uh, now that I see all your faces again, um, what questions do you have? Or was there anything that wasn't clear in your mind? Like, um, do I have to go to Lions Learning Center? They, that's a separate website. Even though you saw in the portal, there is a learning center. But um, we were having a conversation at the beginning of this training. And for district governor elects, they do have to go to that website. But as I scrolled through the screen, you saw there's very similar courses. I'll open it up. Any any questions? Yeah, hi, uh, Lion. Yep. This is Mike. This is the uh, first VDG Cash Delori from 16K. I work uh, under our DGE elect, DGE elect uh, Varsha. Uh, thank you so much, Varsha, for giving me the opportunity to ask a question. And I might, a phenomenal job you did in a capsule form. I think it's allowed to go into details, but that's something when you go and do something on your own, then you find out. And I am a very slow person, slow learner, honestly. I don't, I'm not, I'm not shy to say that. Uh, I, I had a big difficulty using my lion about uh, maybe six weeks ago. I wanted to report an activity, a future activity. And there was some glitch, maybe something. I reached out to the international. I don't know if I had to fix or not. Can you give a small demo as to how to report a future activity or a past activity? Sure, <laughs> sure. Great, great question. And I, I think that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lion that's very, you heard the term tactile, like I could sit in a room, I could, you know, it's called death by PowerPoint, or an instructor talks and those are for the auditory learners, but I'm a tactile person, I have to go to the website, and I have to play around with it sometimes several times so I agree with you that, you know, that's how I learn best so we'll go there and, and in fact I'll show you that let me share the screen. Just a quick demo then we'll sure. yeah. do a quick demo for you. And I'm sure a lot of us will do and benefit it. Sure. So you, can you see the portal in front of you? Yep. Okay. Oh, you, um, I'm in the training mode. <laughs> <laughs> training mode, sorry. I'm GLT, so I always go. That's my go-to. So where do we go if we want to go my back life. to home? Yep, you click back. And then here's where you can find it, the My Lion. Okay. So here it will do. I went into, in fact, I just, we, um, I'm trying to remember the one we just did. 
for eyeglass. So I'd go uh, report an activity. Let me scroll down to make sure there's a current one. So there's, you can create, let's see if it'll come in. Okay, so perfect. This is to answer your question. So you pick what type of activity, service, fundraiser, meeting, or donation. Uh, let's do service, like when we did flags at the cemetery. That's a good right. one. Yeah. Okay. And then you go continue. So if you're like me and you, uh, what's the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and over and <laughs> expecting different results. <laughs> so once you see that you clicked and it doesn't do anything, look right over here to your right and you'll see the continue button. Okay. So there you go. It's as simple as that. Then you pick what, what's it going to impact? We, we're starting to do a lot more environment. So you can see it's got all our service areas. I'll do, what's the one typically cash that you do? do Let's do eyeglasses. We do a lot of eyeglasses. Vision. Perfect, perfect. So there's your vision. And you'll continue. And then see that they made it so, it's so much easier than it used to be. So it's, it's really, and you can see your progress on this top bar, cause, type, you put in the details. So that's where you go. This is just to answer, you had the perfect question is that this is for any lion, but I learned this when I tried to report a service project, we just did, it's called, um, remember this, if you're looking for a, I think they're nationwide, it's called sleep in heavenly peace. And they build bunk beds for children who currently sleep on the floor. And uh, we just built, it was called bunks across America and they partnered with Lowe's you know, the home improvement store. And we built bunk bed and it was for lions of all abilities, young, old. Uh, some of us never work with power tools. So they put them on the sanders and they would sand the wood. So it's made from lumber, not like the best lumber, but satisfactory lumber. And so that's a that was a project we just did. But my point was when I tried to load it, it says, it told me, it told me right at the beginning, it says, you have to be a club officer and i'm like what i am a club but i haven't my secretary hasn't put me in yet for president he will here shortly right because july is is ticking around the corner but once i become a, a club officer then you can report your service so anybody that's designated in lci does that answer your question no not at all <laughs> well sorry. call me up I'm i will call you and walk you through it no no hang on hang on what i'm saying okay. is I didn't have problem. I have done a lot of past activities, but problem mm -hmm. while reporting a future activity, okay, and okay. there was some glitch. And they, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, techies over there in LCI are working on it. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that is fixed now or fixed. I, I didn't try after that. So what what I did, I learned. I know about this glitch you you speak of, and I had to I had to make wait till the date passed, and that was my workaround solution. Oh, of I course. Made, yeah, went to a pass, and then it let me go in and update the number of people, service hours. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. but there I know they're still working on the future one. There is always a way around, but uh, I don't know if uh, that's the, the, the best oh. solution. Is you're right for the techies to fix it, so we don't have to come up with our own workarounds. But there, they, it gets better all the time with every software um, new software release. It gets better, but this right, what I've showed you tonight is uh, it, it's like nothing I've ever seen. It's just so much easier. And then of course you would just go through all these um, screens. In there, thank you so much. No problem. And I'll see. Did you see Mike, there's a couple of questions in the sure. chat box. So the first one said, as asking, uh, can you show how to get to the Lions University again from login? Oh, sure. Okay. Let me make sure I have the screen up here. Okay. Oh, for Lions, Lions University, that was their question. Yeah. Okay. I'm just typing it. I'm going to log in so it's not as painful for you. Okay. Once I log in. Yeah, that's a great question. That's the one I, I'm currently doing right now. Oh, great. Okay, so that's working. Let me go to share my screen. 
Anu would be so impressed that I'm so technology savvy. I'm even amazing myself. Okay, can everybody see the screen in front of them? I get bonus points just for being able to navigate my wife's computer. <laughs> okay, so what I did, the only thing you didn't see was right before, it looks very similar. Um, here's the Lions University, and this is the one I talked about, the different programs. And so um, it's great after, uh, is there, what was the question? So the, here's the Lions University, and it's also tied to the USA Canada Forum. So once you complete all the requirements, you're only halfway there. You have to attend a USA Canada Forum in order to get your um, uh, degree. And here, I'll, I'll, before the question, I'll just show you real quick. Like, so I'm, I'm currently doing the master's. So it'll show you, it'll say what the requirements are. It'll show you the courses. It's not as bad as it looks. It says complete at least nine of those. So not all of these have a subcategory. And then when you're done, you see there's a material portal, which when we were just talking about glitches in the system, right? I learned that um, it pops up and it says, not your catch. It, there's a like JavaScript, a disabled JavaScript. I, so I checked and I, my JavaScript's disabled, but I sent, a, you know, I sent the help desk a, an email and I said, hey, I would love to load my documents so I could pass up your district governor Varsha so I can be top and competing with her. And now I can't even load my documents. <laughs> so just realize you have to be patient with some of this, but those are all the courses. And then it'll tell you, let's see if I can find it while I'm with you. I love this stuff. It's just great. Uh, resources. Um, uh, graduation and photos. If you you weren't able to, you want to see your fellow license or lions, you just go here and it'll you'll have your photos up there as well. Um, my account. Let's see if I can show you. This you'll learn better by if you see it. I think. Okay. So right here, when you get done, you see where it says apply. It does this for the bachelor's program, and if you don't have the requirements, it'll say. Nice try, Lion. You need to go back and finish the requirements. So you can see these are the courses. Hopefully it won't show you my embarrassing grades. It'll just show you whether it's complete or not. All right. So if, yeah, if you're only halfway, you'll only get half the green. And then of your electives courses, you have to do five. So you got to do so many of the primary and then this one's five of this one. And you can see there's the five. So does that, did that help or did somebody have a question about Lions University? The question I believe is how to get there, the Lions University page from Lazio. So, yep, so if you look, if you go to lionsuniversity.org forward slash, I think it'll take you there if you just go Lions, univer, Lions plural, university.org forward slash, it'll take you to the login screen. Okay. Did that answer? I'm doing, I am batting a hundred with your questions. So don't, <laughs> don't try to trick me. Thank you, Mr. Mike. There's another one here. Huh? Sure. How do we access information on legal liabilities for club events or services? Perfect. Okay. So what you do, I can talk through this one. We have a, uh, it's called Days of 47. You think Jenny can dance on her feet? Wait till you meet PCC Mike. So what you do is you go to lionsclubs.org right? That's our, I call it the mothership. That's our organizational, you know, um, uh, headquarters. And you go to the search, um, the, just the magnifying glass. And we have the same thing. We have this event coming up, this parade, and we have a vehicle that's in it. And we wanted to know about the liability. So if you even just type in legal, use that. I recommend the search bar for everything. And that'll get you to where you need. If, if you can't find it on this portal page, you'll want to find administrative things on the lionsclubs.org. So yeah, that'll give you. And then if, if you can't find it under frequently asked questions, there's also an email for the legal department. And I found they've been really responsive in everything I need. Did that answer your question? Pradeepa, is that okay? They can ask more. I can, I can, I can expand if, is, if it's, if, or if they need an insurance form, I needed to show the organizer said, Mike, 
we would love to have, because this year is our centennial year and we're celebrating a hundred years in Lyons in Utah. And they said, you can participate, but give us your certificate of insurance. And I went, wow, that's a new one, but not being afraid to just, you know, you got to ask the question. So I went to the lionsclubs.org and I put in the magnifying glass certificate and it got me, it got me right there. And I was able to, you can do it for conventions. That way, you know, if somebody fell down or slipped or fell. So, yeah. Questions, keep them coming. What There's you got? One question I believe is about the, how to report if you attend this uh, session tonight. It says here, will this program be recorded under service or meeting while reporting? So, you know, it's, I have, I have a two part answer. The first part is I was impressed that I received a certificate for being on the yesterday's leadership. I wasn't expecting a certificate and it, it was beautifully designed. So thank you for that. I want to say thank you. That was a nice surprise after uh, attending this. Uh, for uh, if you want to, um, it would be under meeting or you can put it under leadership. I, I would leave it to how your district does it. I mean, are you going to, this is something now that you've learned, you can go in there and create. Now you've done this, um, your whole committee that designed this leadership series. You could even do it that way and get credit for holding a, um, a leadership meeting or training even, because that's what this was, right? It was, it was, it was learning about leadership lionism so it's really up to you they just want to know that you you know that you've met and you've uh you've held training or you know or a meeting i would think it would be under training it's because you're learning a lot especially even if you just did one for today and once again i'm available to answer any any questions what else you got i don't have you here anymore so if you have any question please raise your hand there is a functionality at the bottom it says a reaction so or you can raise your hands like this <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget we need a picture tonight i depend on Vars or district governor varsha i should say is uh we share we really utilize social media because a lot of lions do you suffer in in new jersey the same as we do a lot of the older membership, they don't have emails or they're no longer monitoring them. So what we do is we blast everything on our state uh, page, you know, on Facebook. Uh, I'm still learning all this Twitter and Instagram, but I, we found that we're getting members where during COVID, we did a uh, recycling program to pick up uh, you know, recyclable metal, which doesn't pay a lot. So if you're looking for a, you know, investment opportunity, that's not why you do it. We wanted to help the elderly clear out things in their house or their yard. So we collected recyclable metal. We take it, we made a few dollars and we put it, you know, back into the, the service project. But it helped during COVID because it helped the elderly. And what we did is we asked them, to, to maintain social distancing, we asked, can they have a grandson or a son or a daughter move it to the curb? So all we did was pull up, usually myself and my wife, threw it in the back of our truck. And, and that's what we did during COVID. But you know what? I picked up three new members and, and our stats aren't even as great as yours, but they asked, hey, I like what you're doing for the environment, that you're reducing the number of waste in our landfills. So I picked up a husband and wife and a, a, a lady who was retired. And she said, what can I do for Lions? And I said, you can join us is what you can do. So just you got to think outside the box and try, you know, non-traditional things. And that's what I love tonight is, you know, when I hear your service projects, I got, you know, I have my homework and I'm writing, writing them down. So just remember by using media, whether you're a fan of Facebook or not, you just got to try to get the word out in, in, in different ways. I think Lions is the best kept secret around the world. We love it, but we're, we, sometimes we don't ask our friends, neighbors, coworkers. You know what I mean? Does that make sense to everybody? Sorry. That was a long answer for a short question. What else do you have? Let's see. Uh... Anybody racing? I have a question for you. I'm so I'm the LCIF coordinator, and we typically donate to LCIF once a year during the parade of checks. 
you know, because people donate to other organizations. So you have my email. If you could think of great events, share them with me. So I, I don't want to be just once a year donating to our great organization. I want to, you know, that's what I want to use these engagements is to share brainstorm because some, sometimes you're, what do our members in our club say? Mike, we've tried that before. Okay, well, let, what if you don't want to discourage a brand new lion, you know, from trying something, let them try and fail. What's the worst that can happen? But I think sometimes lions, that's, we tend to like, we've all, you ever seen the one where they, uh, they, it's the video and they flip pancakes and one, one new member says, I would like to type, like to make waffles. It's a great video. Watch it. And all the other members are like, we have never done waffles in our history. And, and so the video is like a parody about that. But I think we all get stuck in, you know, stuck in our ways. So sometimes we got to do things different. Oh, Varsha, don't forget to take photos of the screens. <laughs> Rohel will take it. Yeah, we'll have that. Uh, yeah. He's the man. He's we'll, the make sure. we'll make sure. We'll uh, have a class pictorial before we end. Yeah, Very good. End, yeah. Very. I, and I know there, there may have been digital resources that maybe you're using that I'm not familiar with. Please share them and I'll incorporate it when we do club training, zone, zone meetings or district conventions. Because I'm impressed with New Jersey. Uh, we, we were joking earlier on Instant Messenger. I said, yesterday with Jenny, you had 58 or 60 odd people. Sometimes our district conventions, we really suffer. We're, we're like, you know, t we're a multiple, but both are like low on numbers. And I, I found, I'm, I admire that you can use this social media platform to get in all these lions here. So that, that's fantastic. I, I'm really impressed. Any, any other questions? Or is everybody ready? It's past your dinner times. <laughs> yeah, I have one question here, please, Mr. Mike. Sure. Can any member enter information in the website? So any member can, um, belong is not the word. Any member has access to that website. But if you're reporting service, I found you had to be a, appointed in my LCI by your secretary as a club officer. But anybody can view that data because I wanted to see what our LCIF numbers were. And so I went to Insights and I started, I mean, I was all over the world, literally. I was in the wrong country looking at their stats. And it, but it took me a few minutes, like Kosh and I were saying, Cash and I were saying, and I, then I learned, I said, okay, now I know how to get to my district just like that. And, and you'll do the same. It's, it's really easy. Don, I know you have a, a hard question for me that you're just chomping at the bit. No, she's shaking her head. No, I, I love to see these lions who are just doing fantastic things around the world. This is great. Any other questions? Mike, you can always become a legacy member for LCIF. Oh, well, I learned it yesterday's um, for PCC Mahesh that you can be a life member of Lions for $650 and 20 years. Did I get that right? 20 years as a lion, you could become a lifetime member. I thought it was 25, but I could be wrong. Oh, I'm, no, I may be wrong, but that's what I mean. I learned that. Yeah, I didn't know that. We, in fact, we have a member in the club who's a lifetime member. And I, I thought it was just because he was a charter member. So I think lionism evolves. I don't think any of us know it all. You just, you know, but PCC now, wins this says 20 years. 20 years. Oh, okay. Very good. Any other was did the training? I know, like I said, last night was an hour and a half, but I spent more time going down each one of the blocks and, and I'm available. You know, I, I love it that much that I love, you know, letting lions see what's out there and and if I would have had this five years ago, I tell you, as a district governor or council chair, or even as a club president, it would have made my job so much easier to know that it's, even with the glitches, even with some glitches in there, it's still a very valuable system, if that makes sense. Now we're just staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Okay, if not, um, okay. I, you know how to read PCC Mike, or if you have any questions down the line, or you can also uh, ask 
PCC uh, Mahes or uh, DG Varsha or anybody from the cabinet. So we are available to answer questions or direct you to experts who can answer those questions. Okay, so since there are no more questions. Uh... Oh, hey. Yes. I just want to say one thing. We have a lion, Richard Stevenson from Lions Global Forum. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, and thank you. We have a few words because if you have any question, you can just write on that forum and you will get your answer. So this is the another digital platform for getting our questions and answers. Thank you, yes. Richard, for that. Can we have a few words from you? <laughs> I think you are muted. Can you unmute yourself? Or Mahesh, can you unmute Richard? Yeah, I, I, I unmuted her. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. I, I wanted to see PCC Mike in person because I missed him last night. We got the time zones all twisted around, but it was a pleasure being here. A great program. Thank you so much. You guys are doing a wonderful job. See you on the online. Great. See, we're always being watched as lions, but with mentors like you, I welcome you anytime. So thank you for joining. It was great to have all of you. Okay. And, and it, hopefully it answered all your questions and um, maybe there was other resources we didn't see, but you know, we're going to find them together and we're going to share it. And all we can do is make our organization better because like I said, doing things the old ways, Sometimes, you know, that worked in the past, but we also, we respect the past, but we also look forward to the future and then find ways to serve. Okay. Uh, again, thank you, PCC Mike, for that very informative presentation on digital resources. This will surely help us navigate the Lions digital world with more confidence and enthusiasm. We really learned a lot tonight and we are truly blessed to have this opportunity. I would like to call Council Chair-elect Armando Guerra for a short talk. I think Armando has some trouble joining in, I believe. Okay, I thought I saw him a while ago, okay. Yeah. All right, all right then. So. Can we take a picture? Yes, yes. that's what the, that's the next part is. Let's have a class picture so if you, if you can, or if you may, if you will. Uh, can we, can we Photoshop? The, so can you add more hair <laughs> or can do that skinnier? Too. Yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, you did a haircut last night, right, Mike? You, got a haircut. you did a haircut yeah. last night. <laughs> this okay. afternoon. Yeah. I'm going to count the trees and say cheese. Look at the cameras. Oh, sorry about that. OK. Another meeting coming. <laughs> do we have a tail twister to find him? <laughs> okay. All right. One, two, three, cheese. Okay, let me go to page two. There you go. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, cheese. Okay, there goes the class picture. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, to conclude this evening's activity, we have some announcements to make. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at the same time at 7 to 9 p.m., we'll have the final session of our week-long refresher or training, if you will, mm -hmm. event on the subject role of secretary and treasurer. Great. It's another wonderful session to look forward to. And I, I hope everyone here has also registered for tomorrow's event. Again, I won't get tired emphasizing that each session is very important. So please consider re registering. And before we officially end, I would like to thank PCC Mike for sharing your time, your effort, your knowledge and wisdom on the topic that we had this evening. I would also like to thank incoming state advisor and past council chair Mahesh Chitnis, incoming council chair Armando Guerra, District 16J governor elect Marcia Naik for your participation and or background assistance in tonight's program. And I, I would like to acknowledge the presence of some officers this evening who took their time to be with us tonight. Uh, PCC Winster Sibalios. 16J District Governor Kevin Kosobuki, Past District Governor Don Kosobuki, Past District Ruth Chu, District Governor Ruth Chua from the Philippines, 
We have here a 16J first vice district governor elect Cass Delori. 16J second VDG elect Evelio Salerbo. 16 uh, 16L or 16 uh, second vice district governor elect Donna Friedel. Am I right? And uh, multiple district 16 GLT chair incoming, Anu Chitnis. And uh, Lion Richard Stevenson tonight, thank you for joining us. And of course, all the other officers of the district, past, current, and incoming. And especially to everyone, thank you so much for joining us tonight, for your wonderful presence that made this event possible. And uh, I would like to especially thank uh, somebody from Nepal who joined us tonight. I know there's a big difference in time, but uh, thank you for the effort to join us. Uh, Rohil, Armando is here. He just messaged me. Armando, can you say hi? Because oh, I can see okay. you. Armando? Wait, where is he? Let's see. Rohel, can you see Armando? I can't see him. I can see him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think he, uh, he, hi, um, hi. This is Orleda. It's not Armando. It's Orleda. <laughs> That's oh, his wife. Okay. Armando, Armando, it's um, having a hard time trying to get in through his cell phone. So I don't think he's going to be able to okay. uh, reach you. But this is me. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Orleda. Hi, Orleda. Yeah, we'll catch him tomorrow. How's that? <laughs> Sure, okay. thank you. All right. Uh, so before we end, I would like to share another favorite quotation again, if I may, to ponder upon or reflect on, if you will. Each new day is an opportunity to start afresh, to see each new day as an opportunity to embrace life's events, not fear what lies ahead. To start out your day on a positive note is to set the welcoming tone for the rest of the day from Byron Balsifer. Good night, everyone. Stay safe, stay 